CO2, carbon dioxide, when chilled to below 110 degrees, we call it dry ice. It can be used as a special effect in a low-budget vampire movie, but usually it's used in the food service industry to keep fresh foods cold. But it has some other amazing properties. Dry ice blasting is a revolutionary cleaning technology that uses dry ice pellets as a blast media. As the pellet strikes the surface, it instantaneously turns into a gas in an explosive state of charge. This then lifts the snap-frozen contaminant from the surface, leaving behind no residue or secondary waste. The reason we've decided to expand into dry ice blasting is it's going to open doors to us that haven't been opened. We can go in a manufacturer facility, not have to shut them down to clean their lines. With power washing, we would have to shut them down. You'd have to allow for dry time once we've introduced water. We're also not going to have a secondary waste problem, an environmental problem. Dry ice sublimates, it's going to keep everything nice and clean. It's frozen carbon dioxide. Upon sublimation, upon impact, it sublimates. It turns right back into a gas. There is no water involved with dry ice blasting. Compared to alternative cleaning methods, sandblasting, solvent-based cleaning, or power washing, Dry ice blasting offers many advantages. Machines can be cleaned in place. Dry ice blasting is a dry process and requires no assembly or reassembly, which means less downtime. It's a quicker clean. It uses less resources, and that equals more runtime and more profits. It's non-abrasive, non-flammable, and non-conductive. Dry ice blasting won't damage most substrates and can be used safely on electrical components. It can get into tight spaces that many other methods cannot. It's environmentally friendly. It meets USDA, FDA, and EPA guidelines. It provides greater operator safety. There's no exposure to chemicals or grit media, and it's not as labor-intensive as traditional cleaning methods. For anyone considering an environmentally conscientious way of improving their efficiency, consider dry ice works.